Hello again everybody, this is Glenn with Best Price Nutrition. Uh, today I'm going to give you an overview of the Muscle Tech Clear Muscle. It's their new product on the market right now. It's, got, it's kind of all the rage right now. So let's kind of dive into it to see exactly what it is and what it's uh, supposed to do. Um, there is 168 liquid capsules in here. Um, and actually the capsules, when you, when you look at them, they are clear. Uh, and uh, it's a four week supply. Uh, basically you're going to be taking two capsules three times per day. So it's 28 day supply. Um, per two capsules, there is a thousand milligrams or one gram of an ingredient called Betator. And what that is, it's free, it's a free acid form of HMB. Um, a lot of times when you see HMB, it's bonded to calcium. This is just pure HMB, no calcium involved there. And you've got a thousand milligrams per two capsule, you're getting three grams per day. Now, there is a research study, a research conducted on it by the University of Tampa, uh, which brought this ingredient to light and which Muscle Tech has, uh, uh, is now bringing out to you guys. Um, and they used the three grams per day over a 12 week period of time. So if you're going to follow their protocol, you're going to need three bottles. Uh, so that, you know, and, and it's not cheap either. Uh, the bottles are going to run you around $60, so it's about $180 for the full cycle. Now let's get into some of the results of the study just to give you an idea of what, um, what you know, they say it does uh, or kind of a, uh, results you can expect. It was a 12 week study. There was 16.3 pounds in lean body mass or muscle tech does put it that there's 16.3 pounds of lean muscle, uh, but I'll get into that second or after we talk about some things. Um, and that's in the group that took the clear muscle or the beta tour ingredient. And then in the placebo group, it was 4.6 pounds, uh, and both of them used the 3 grams per day dosage. Um, and also on the three big lifts, squat, um, bench press, and deadlift, they had a 170-pound increase. So cumulatively, cumulatively um, when you add up the increases, it, it equals 170 pounds versus 55.8 pounds in the placebo. So uh, and placebo oftentimes is just like a sugar pill or something like that. Um, so let's kind of look into the workout that they had. Um, now this is where, you know, this is going to differ from most other supplements or, or, tr you know, um, research studies done. They had a specific workout. Uh, it was split into three phases. Um, you had weeks one through eight, okay, which was considered phase one. A pretty standard workout, nothing crazy. Although, I mean, you are doing the three main lifts, the squat, bench, and deadlift, you're doing them three times a week. So it's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday split. Um, three sets of 12, five sets of five, three sets of five. You know, give you some time of rest in there too. So next is the phase two, which is the overreaching phase. Uh, this is the phase that really tests your, your, your capabilities. Um, so you're actually uh, squatting, benching, and deadlifting. Or in place of squat, you leg press. In place of uh, uh, bench press, you've got you doing military press. In place of deadlift, they got you doing um, bent over rows. So you're working out those muscle groups five times a week, uh, and that's for two weeks. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, and they're really pushing with uh, uh, the three sets of eight, three sets of eight, three sets of twelve, three sets of twelve, and then three sets of one. But they're really pushing in terms of very little rest um, and also. I mean, imagine trying to squat or even just work out your legs five days within the week. And then at the end of the week, you have like a powerlifting day on Friday. You're doing your one rep max. So you're, you're essentially maxing out. Uh, so that's for two weeks. And then the final two weeks is sort of a taper. You're sort of coming back. Um, there are some reps here, more velocity reps, speed reps, lower weight. Um, so that's sort of the, the, the exercise program that they have. And, and they want you to follow that as well. They do post it on their website. Um, so you can see that this is a very, very difficult workout, not something that, you know, many people even, you know, go into in terms of overall volume. I mean, how many people are actually squatting or benching five days a week? You know, maybe, you know, some people new into working out and that's what they're doing, but they're not going as heavy. Um, they're not also, you know, they're not taking that one minute rest, they're probably taking five, 10 minutes of rest in between. So it's a pretty crazy workout routine. So what they found is that by following this workout routine and by taking the clear muscle or the beta tour that they, these people received or achieved these results. So just to give you some idea of the average here, uh, average measurements, or measurements for the people to start was 187 pounds, and at the end it was 192 pounds. Now you're probably asking, 
weight that's only around four to five pounds of weight gain. Well, they actually lost body fat too. So their body fat percentage went from 21% on average to 14%. So that's a 7% body fat loss. So not only were they gaining muscle mass, but they're also burning body fat at the same time. Uh, and then it goes, you know, there's some numbers in terms of their, uh, their bench press, squat, and deadlift uh, weights going up. Now the non-clear muscle group, by following just this workout, okay, not taking the supplement, uh, they gained five pounds of muscle and lost four pounds of fat. So they still, even within that group, achieved some great results. Now, when looking at the study, you know, and everything I just told you, you're probably like, the, you know, that's pretty intense. It's pretty crazy. I mean, for someone to be able to increase muscle mass so greatly and then decrease their body fat so quickly within 12 weeks, it sounds like steroid-like gains, honestly. Um, so there's a lot of people who are out there saying, well, you know, uh, what's going on with this study, you know? But the results are the results. So, uh, but something to think about too, when gaining lean body mass, um, and this is where I wanted to hit at with the bottle, um, lean body mass doesn't mean just muscle. It can be muscle, water retention, and glycogen. So with a, a workout like this, and they, they were eating a calorie surplus. Um, so with a workout like this, you are going to really saturate your muscles when you're going through this workout program, especially the overreaching period. So you're going to hold on to some water, and that's not to say it's extracellular water, most likely. A lot of it could be intracellular, uh, think creatine. Um, and also you're going to have some glycogen retention because when you're taking these carbs, your body wants to replenish those because you put yourself through a pretty crazy workout. Um, so that's something to think about as well. Um, the exact amount of what, what was muscle and what was glycogen, what was water, I don't know. Uh, it might be out there somewhere, I just haven't been able to find it. Now, what I want to say though is on the bottle it says subject gained 16 pounds of lean muscle. There is a difference there. It is lean body mass and that's what the study did say. So there was some glycogen and some, some water there. So are you going to be able to take this father workout and gain 16 pounds of lean muscle, just pure muscle? No. Um, so. You know, the jury's kind of still on. It's a brand new ingredient just on the market. You know, it, it, it's something that if you're going to take, I would follow their workout program. Um, I mean, they actually had people come in and they had guided workouts at the University of Tampa. They have a huge workout facility there with some you know great athletes and things like that. And the people who started, um, they were generally trained. Um, I mean, you know, you can look at some of the things. Their average bench press was like 248 pounds, squat was 317, deadlift was 375. So it's not just somebody they took off the street who hasn't worked out at all. Um, so they have some workout experience. So um, again, jury's still out on it. We don't know. I mean, it, it, it's so new. Let's let some people, you know, get out there and try it. If you're going to take it, though, I recommend following the workout program. You definitely want to go through with the whole 12 week because most of the results. When you look at uh, the results at like week eight compared to week 12, most of the results come after that overreaching and taper period. So if you're really gonna go and, and you really wanna invest the money into it, go through the full 12 weeks to see what kind of benefits you're gonna get. Um, so yeah, that about covers it. I know there's a lot of questions you probably have in there. If you have any more of them, go ahead and post them in the comments section. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And then you can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash bestpricenutrition. Thank you.